Kia ora and welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guide. Today I'm gonna help you as a tourist with things to do during the New Zealand public holidays in case you get stuck during one of those days during your trip. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so on January 1st and 2nd, it's New Year's Day and the day after New Year's Day, and those are public holidays in New Zealand. Obviously, if you are into partying on New Year's Day, well, there is plenty of options for you in New Zealand, that's for sure, with even two very famous festivals named Rhythm and Vines on the North Island and Rhythm and Alps on the South Islands. But the traditional Kiwi things to do is literally to do a barbecue on the beach, because yes, in New Zealand, in, well, the Northern Hemisphere winter, well, for us, it's summer so New Year's Day in summer is quite a treat. Next up on our list we have February the 6th which is Waitangi Day in New Zealand. There we celebrate the birth of New Zealand as a nation when the treaty was signed between the English crown and the local Maori tribes. Now the best thing to do during that day is to try to hang out at a local marae which is a Maori meeting house to attend the celebration. If you are able to do that it will be quite a local treat. Next up, we have uh, in uh, late March, we have Easter. Easter in late March is basically the last summer rush. So this is when all the locals are trying to get their last um, jump in the beach, uh, you know, in the sea. Um, it's, it's basically the last kind of time to enjoy summer in New Zealand. So some of the best things to do are to do just that. Go hang out, for example, around the Abel Tasman National Park. It's a fantastic place at that time of the year. Next up, we have June 6th, which is Anzac Day, which is a celebration for New Zealand um, Army. There is usually a dawn service uh, happening in pretty much all town in New Zealand. And the best place to learn more about that is at the local RSA, which is the Retired Servicemen Association, I think that stands for that. So yeah, that's the best thing to do during Anzac Day on June the 6th. Now in early July we have Matariki. It's a brand new holiday in New Zealand. It was only um, started as a public holiday in 2022. Now in Matariki, obviously the things to do are slightly different. I mean, slightly unknown just yet because it's such a new one. But there is. Uh, some good celebration happening in Marais as well as some really massive celebration happening in Rotorua which is definitely worth checking out. On October the 4th it's a Labour Day uh, in New Zealand and that's basically the first day of the summer holiday in New Zealand. So this is when the weather is get getting even better, this is when everybody is starting to rush for the beach so that is what is the best thing to do there. And then finally, we have December the 25th and 26th, which is Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Now, the traditional Kiwi thing to do for Christmas Day, because we're having a, win a summer Christmas, sorry, is to do a barbecue by the beach. So eat a lot, head to the beach and do a barbecue there. That's the best thing to do at that time of the year. All right, there's much more uh, travel tips for you on nzpocketguide.com, so check it out. And the whole team is joining me in wishing you the best time ever in New Zealand. <laughs> 